everybody, my name is Tommy, I'm a mask and puppet maker, and in this video, I will show you how to make Pirate's Cove. Enjoy the tutorial! Pineapple! Cove, the only things you are going to need, you will need purple curtains if you don't have any, Purple fabric will work just fine. You'll need to print off a sheet of stars if you don't know where to find these. You can get this template in the link in the description below. Though you are going to need some different sizes. And you'll need scissors to cut out these stars. We'll be using the stars as a stencil. And of course one of my favorite, favorite things in the world. Glow paint. Now this is fabric glow paint and uh, so you'll notice the cap has a nozzle at the end. You're going to need that. So that's what you're going to be using to stencil the stars onto your, your fabric. I'll show you how to make the out of order sign. It's very easy. So you'll need a sheet of cardboard and you'll need some white paint. And the black paint or a permanent marker will work fine. So before we start, just remember kids, these scissors are very sharp and pointy. Always cut away from yourself and get an adult to help you with this if you need it. So, and I recommend adult supervision when using sharp scissors. Plastic scissors will also work for this because we're just cutting paper. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the stars out. All right, so we now have our stars cut out. You have different sizes, large, medium, small, and uh, a tiny one there. All right, so now we have our fabric all laid out, just like that. So we're gonna take your glow paint you can use white paint if you don't have glow paint, but it looks so cool when you have the lights turned off. So make sure you shake it up well. So all you need to do is just place your star wherever you want it and just trace all around the star. You squeeze the bottle, don't squeeze it too hard or else you'll use too much. Just nice and easy is all you need. And there's one star. And then you just find a random spot. I'm going to put another one right here. And just like that, so we have ourselves two large stars. So I'm going to put in a different size. We can overlap them, but I'm going to wait till they dry. So I'm going to put on a, a medium sized star. And we got ourselves a medium sized star. I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to show you how to overlap them so they look really, really nice. Alright, so I'm going to take a small star and I'm just going to overlap and I'm just going to overlap. Like that. Okay, so that's how you overlap the stars. So I'm going to co completely cover this entire curtain. Repeat this process until the entire curtain is covered in stars to your satisfaction.
So when it's done and you let it dry, it should look something like this. And that's all there is to it. I'm going to show you what it looks like in the dark. And now to make the out of order sign, it's very easy. All you need to do is just take a sheet of cardboard or uh, just cut out a scrap piece of cardboard and glue some white paper over it. Write sorry out of order. The secret writing to show up that says it's me, I use glow paint. That's all you have to do for the secret writing. All you have to do is just hang it up from the ceiling. If you, you have curtains, you can just put this on a curtain rod. And yeah, so that's all you need to do. You can put this in the corner of a room. Or you can just put it um, above your closet or whatever. And it looks really nice. And you just hang your out of order sign. Turn the lights out and you have a dramatic change of atmosphere. So it's really cool. I think it's really, really worth the effort if you are a Foxy or a Five Nights at Freddy's fan. And of course I got my Foxy puppet inside. Who else would it be? Alright, well I hope you enjoyed that video and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. Now go make yourself a puppet friend.